In this video, we'll be talking about the vertical alignment and how we're going to do it for all profiles. So uh, I will be showing you how to do the Laguna Canyon Road vertical alignment and the same steps you do or you follow for the Laguna Canyon Road are going to be uh, the same steps basically that you're going to follow for the rest of the profiles. So first of all, you're going to open your, from chapter 9, your tutorial two dimensions profile and then you're going to create a layer, uh, a layer called the Laguna Canyon Road vertical alignment basically and then you're going to set it as active and then after doing that you're going to go to your Laguna Canyon profile over here so what we're going to do is we're going to create a line that goes from the first point or nearly the first point which is like basically the best fit line that goes from the first point of the profile to the last point and we're going to use that line to create the horizontal alignment. So uh, in your HDM they tell you that you're going to uh, you're going to have to create a line that goes through two points and the first point is um, the intersection point between uh, station 10 and the elevation 2100 and 69.16 and then the other one is going to be between station 44 plus 12 and elevation 3105.64 feet. So um, since it's hard for us to actually determine using the profile, um, the exact elevation that they want us to use for the first point, what we're going to do is that uh, we're going to create first a line that goes through the stations, uh, the elevation basically 2960 and then we're going to copy parallel that line. Um, 45.8 feet upwards. Just like this. And then the reason we copy at 45.8 instead of 9.16 is because uh, our profiles have vertical scale of 5. So 9.16 times 5 gives us 45.8. And then for the other one, we're gonna create a line at 3,100, and then we're gonna offset it um, 28.2. And then after doing that, now we have our first points. This is uh, our points basically. So this is our first point, and then the second point, it's gonna be this point over here. So we're gonna create a line that goes from the end of the profile for Laguna Canyon Road that goes perpendicular and intersects with the line that you have created. Now that we have created our points, we can go ahead and create our line. So the line is going to be like this, and then after creating the line, you can go ahead and get rid of all the extra lines that you used to construct that line. So now that we have our line that goes through the profile, we're going to go ahead and start creating our vertical alignment. So um, before we start, the first thing you have to do is open the tutorial, the DTM and the tutorial. Oh, sorry. And after doing that, you're going to go to tutorial and then make sure that your Laguna Canyon Road is set active. After doing that, you're, you're going to import the geometry, but this time not as horizontal alignment, but as vertical alignment. So here, as you can see at the side, you have the horizontal and vertical alignment. You're going to do the vertical alignment. And then you're going to click apply and select the line that you just created. Now as you can see here in Laguna Canyon Road, we're going to have the vertical alignment in here. Here it is. So now that we created the vertical alignment, it's time to actually start the stationing. So in order to do the stationing, you're going to have to go to, first of all, we're going to set it as active. And then we're going to go to geometry, view geometry. 
and then a vertical annotation. In here, you're gonna have to follow the HDM, and then in the HDM, they tell you to only change the variables in the tangent section. So here, you're gonna check the grade, you're gonna have it as 50%, and that's it. You click apply, close, and now you have got your vertical alignment for the Laguna Canyon Road. You have your starting station at 10, at 10, and then the elevation, the one that they specified in the HDM. You have your other point, and then that's the stationing for that point, and then you're going to have a slope, or the grade. And that's how you create a vertical alignment for the Laguna Canyon Road. And you basically are just going to have to follow the same steps to create the alignment for the other profiles. However, the only difference for the Route 8 profile is that the, just as uh, we created complex chain in the horizontal alignment to create it, we're going to create complex chain to create the uh, vertical alignment. So it's going to be pretty similar to the other profile, uh, vertical alignments in the other profile, and at the same time we're going to go back and do a lot of stuff that we did for the horizontal alignment for this particular road.